It's our final Coffee with Coach presented by Tim Hortons for the month of October with Michael Leone. I'm Andrew Mossbrooks. Coach, your team got two wins against the same team, but very different ways. How important is it to find unique ways to win each night? Yeah, it's um, not every game's going to be as clean as the game that we played at home. Obviously, we played really well, but uh, I thought we uh, the focus was to get off to a really good start. We knew we were they gonna, they were going to push. Um, you know, lively crowd. They had 15,000. I thought we did a really good job. I think we gave up seven shots in the first period, and then uh, you know it got a little. Um, you know, they gained a lot of momentum in the in the second period after that shorthanded goal and I thought we did a really nice job in the third period. I thought it was our best period and um, their goalie played really good. We had a couple chances to win it in overtime but uh, um, really good job by the guys to sticking with it and I thought um, we learned a lot about our group and it was a huge win. Mason Yops getting goals in both games last week against Cleveland. Uh, Leo, the big difference is moving him from wing to center. How much did you notice in his results? Yeah, it's probably my fault for not moving him sooner, to be honest. Uh, it's his natural position. He just looks really comfortable, obviously. You get engaged as a center when you're winning a lot of face-offs, and, you know, he could transport a lot of pucks. He makes a lot of plays. Uh, it's really responsible in our own zone. I thought he's uh, given us a real big boost the last couple of games. Uh, just looked comfortable as positioning. You know, he was on pucks. Uh, you know, he was a huge part of our uh, two wins. The Emmerichs will kick off the month of November with two games in Utica against the Comets both Friday and Saturday, and we will be back to talk all about that next week on Coffee with Coach.